Hi, welcome to Abby Then I'm Abby. If you haven't met me already, I like to review machines. I sew, I teach sewing, and I also fix machines in my spare time. It's just a hobby I have. Now, in doing um, the teaching and the repair, I get to play with lots of machines. And when I get to play with lots of machines, I get to share my opinions and my reviews with you. So I'm looking at machines that need to prove their worth. They need to be worthy of being in my sewing room. If they're not, they're out. So they've got to be able to teach beginners and be able to teach advanced sewers. They need to be robust so that they're not constantly being repaired. And those are the kind of machines that I will recommend to you. If I don't like it, you probably won't see a review of it. And if you do get to see a review of it and I don't like it, I'm so sorry, but that's the way it is. Right, so, so we're going to review the Neki NC204D. Neki have been around now 100 years. This is their 100th year, and they have been celebrating by bringing out a series of machines. Now, you might want to go and watch the video on the K132A. I show you in that video a model machine which has got the 100 year emblem on there. So inside here, the first thing I find is a walking foot and I need my glasses, an electronic buttonhole foot. So, wow, this is really exciting. I didn't know you could get an electronic buttonhole foot. That's exciting. Right, we get the usual, the cover, which will fit the machine. Let's get that out. We've got a pedal. Now the pedal, I'm obviously going to look, isn't attached to the mains plug. That's really handy. Now, one of the things I complain about often is that pedals are not long enough for me. So, oh wow, manual. This is a whopper of a read. Look at that. And it's all in English. There aren't four languages, I don't think. No. And that manual that we have got quilters within our mitts, haven't we? And so what they've done is they've made sure they've sent me a machine that has an extension table. Isn't that great? So we've got an extension table and that's included in this machine. It's in the box and I've got to pull this machine out because I'm so pleased in the same colour as the other machine. I'm going to have a coordinated room. Let's get rid of that box. And the beautiful thing about this machine is, I can tell you already, it's beautiful. And the beautiful thing I can tell you about this machine is, it's cared like the other one. It looks like it's got a longer bed there and it's got a lot more space on this machine over here what i can't see is as much space at the back which could be disappointing i'm not sure why they've cut a chunk out of that machine but there's the cable look at that isn't that beautiful it really is and you know what for a computer sewing machine it's quite small again it's one of those it's lightweight. I think it weighs about the, the same as the other one. So here we are. The machine is unboxed and it's sitting on my table ready to play with. But it's already blown my mind. Um, let me show you a few things before we've even played with the machine. The first thing I noticed when I got it out the box was not only is the, um, the manual a whopping great size, we've actually got a walking foot. Uh, it's under £500, this machine, and for under £500, you don't normally get given a walking foot. That's not something that you supplied. You will probably be paying about £35 for this one, and that comes in the machine. So that is amazing. We'll do some walking foot exercises, but I have got some other videos that you can watch and learn a little bit more about. It. We have another little box here. This blew my mind electronic buttonhole foot. Now I've heard of the automatic 
buttonhole foot, but I've not heard of an electronic buttonhole foot. But get this, the reason it's electronic, there's no instructions in there. Do you a close up of that. It connects with a cable. It connects with a cable to the machine. But what it is, is again, in the instructions, they tell you they can do three centimeters button. So all I need to do is plug this in, select the button, decide how wide I want the button because not all machines allow you the width. You get two widths, but this one gives you three different widths. So how much space do you want in the opening? And then it also does an accurate feed. Um, it does an accurate measurement so you can fine tune your buttonhole for the thickness of the button. I've not seen this before. Let's just say it's genius. It's rocket science, rocket science. It's nice to see that we're moving forward with technology on sewing machines because at the moment all I'm seeing is the same thing again and again. It's just packaged a little bit different. That to me is innovation. It's exciting and I want to see more. As usual, it seems it's very, very normal for Necky to provide, let's get rid of that sticker, as it did with the beginner's budget machine, a, a test stitch, which again, I think, I think all machine manufacturers should be doing this. They've given me a test stitch of all the machine, of all the different stitches, um, of, well, not all the different stitches because this boasts 439. 439, I had to check the box uh, behind me. 439 stitches. So it's done a fair few. It's done a satin stitch. It's done the uh, stocking stitch. It's done some uh, numbers, buttonhole, and some beautiful hearts. So it's attached uh, to the machine and it's got a drop in bobbin and it's still connected to the thread and they threaded the machine up in this beautiful yellow, which is great. What I would like to see is the yellow thread on top as well, so it doesn't go to waste. <laughs> Matching thread on top and bottom. That would be really handy, it would be really good. I'm going to leave that in there. Um, the same sort of threading mechanism is on there. So on the other machine, I've shown you how to thread up this machine. Just follow that, it's in exactly the same method. So I won't demonstrate that here. Um, it's got an automatic thread. This automatic threader, just feeling it now, is a lot smoother. The other one was clunkier. It was good, it worked, it was fine, but this one feels a lot smoother. These tables normally set you back about 30 to 60 pounds. Some, uh, some models are a little bit more. It's brilliant, it's actually brilliant. So these three things alone, to me, are you know um, definitely worth having on a machine like this, it's an electronic machine. Another feature about this machine, and it's normal for this price bracket, is to have a pedal that plugs in separately because there's an option here um, of not using the pedal. So you don't have to use this pedal at all. And that is a trip hazard gone. Uh, let's have a look, in no particular order, just the order of opening this machine. Uh, so we've got a twin needle, three more um, needles here, but this time they've given you a size range. So they've got an 11, a 14 and a 16. You've got your brush with your seam ripper. There, that's very useful. Look after that. Um, always clear your uh, machine. You've got your felt and your spool caps. So you've got two spool caps there. They will help your thread from whizzing away. And that's felt to feed your thread smoothly. Now this machine offers twin stitching. You've got your twin needle there and you've got an extra spindle there. So when you want to add that a second bobbin of thread, you can. Now you've got a variety of different feet here, which is fantastic. Gathers. That's going to be good, isn't it? A gather foot. So ruffles are in. We've got a blind hem foot. Done lots of blind hemming. You can have a look at other videos, but I will go through these again. There we've got a hemmer. So you can do some rolled hem. I tend to use this for chiffon, not cotton. An overcast foot. Now this is going to be very useful. If you don't have an overlocker, this will really help you get close to the edge and neaten your seam edges, your seam allowances. 
to stop it from fraying. And here's that satin stitch foot or your applique foot. Um, and that's see-through so that well, as you sew around the fabric so that you are stitching a straight and neat line, which is, makes a huge difference when you're doing applique. Right, so that's what's in the box. In the machine, there are three pull-out cards. Fonts there, so I've got two types of fonts there. I've got a third font there and I've got decorative stitches. Lots more decorative stitches including buttonhole stitches and overcast and stretch. So I can actually position this for a top stitch. This is brilliant. All the way over to the right and all the way over to the left. And watch how I can speed up my stitching by moving this sliding button across. These buttons on the front really make your life a lot easier. So we're carrying on stitching. And when I finish, just press stop. I can lock the stitches. And these will give me a few stitches in the same spot, or I can go back and lock those stitches in the old fashioned way. I can lift the needle up and down if I need to pivot, and I can cut the thread to remove it. Like that. Let me show you the electronic buttonhole foot so it's really easy like any other buttonhole foot just open the top here place your button in so that the machine knows how much uh, how big the buttonhole needs to be now this side adjuster will help adjust any accuracy for the width of the buttonhole that we need for the button now you need to just place the buttonhole foot exactly as you would so clamp it into the machine as normal and then just have a feel around for where to plug your foot in at the top there and then once that's all in grab your fabric i've just got a piece of leatherette here and i'm going to just select the buttonhole Can speed it up going really fast now and once that's done you can release that from the machine and let's have a look so here we are this is it this is the Neki 204d it is a lightweight robust sewing machine with a quilter's table it's got you 10 extra feet it's got your walking foot, an electronic buttonhole foot, three different fonts, all of which you can find easily in here to program. You can um, program those into the memory bank of the machine so that you can have a favourite saying in there, um, handmade by Christine, for example. Your buttonholes come out beautifully neat. I was very impressed with how beautiful and accurate those buttonholes were but with a gadget like that that's hardly a surprise. You've got your typical accessories that you get with any machine, your extra needles, your twin needle um, but what I particularly like with Neki is that they're loading the sewing machine for you so that you can't get it wrong which is phenomenal. The stitches have come out absolutely beautiful. I'm really pleased with uh, the selection of stitches that I've chosen. I've got a neat zip as always and you know having the applique foot allows me to get a nice accurate applique on there. Overall I urge you to try this machine out, give it a go, go and have a look at the machine. I think it's a hot contender this Christmas. I really do believe this will make a great gift for somebody. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share.